We're here on the Ilya booth with Roger, who's going to show us Gig Performer 3, which has got some new features. And I believe uh, all the keyboard players use this, uh, it's also relevant for guitar players as well. It's very relevant for guitarists, yeah. So any anytime you're using plugins on your stage, that's that's what you want to use. Okay. Okay, so what's new in uh, in 3? So Gig Performer 3, one of the newest features is the set list. So songs and set lists. So instead of using your rack spaces and creating, you know, different gigs essentially like entire sessions for each of your um, each of your shows, you can actually have your different set lists in here in the main set list view. So I just have ones here for one show, and then you can switch to the others. And basically, like you know, you can have one instance of Gig Performer, reuse plugins, reuse different variations that you've already set up more efficiently. It just all around, it's a better experience for your computer, more efficient for your CPU, which is something that Gig Performer is very known for. Okay, so so you can put together all your favorite plugins. What happens if you want to uh, turn something on or off during the middle of a song? So there's a um, there's also you know a panic button as well that's all MIDI assignable. Yeah. You can do that as well. Everything is assignable. If you have a keyboard that accepts MIDI controls, then you can assign basically any parameter in a plugin, any parameter in Gig Performer. It's all it's all there for you to do. Okay. And if you're a guitar player, you'd use a, a MIDI pedal board system of some kind. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's that's highly recommended. You know, it has um you know the expression will be assignable. There's different plugins for that as well. Any type that you want to use is. It's there for you. So okay. it's easy to step through your songs. So for example, like I just have two controls here and I can go from verse to chorus. And basically what the set list is doing, these are song parts. So if I'm in the introduction of the song, I can have a simple pad or a simple you know, keyboard lick. But then I can go to my next verse and you'll see that the rack space is also changing. So I'm using the organ for this one. I was using, let's see. Um, a little like a um, you know effect sound there, so going here I can go to the verse after it's going to be the um, the same and then we're going to go to the chorus again back to the organ. So I just I'm reusing two different rack spaces, the same rack space, and still stepping in a sequential motion. So all around you're not clogging up your computer with any extraneous you know rack space or plugins. It's just an all around better experience for your computer. Okay, and I guess. Some people are going to say, what, what are the differences between this and main stage? And I guess there are some quite significant differences. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's a great chart on um, Geek Performer and Ilio's site that will list, you know, the, the differences between, you know, other, um, you know, hosts that are out there. Yeah. But, you know, I haven't personally used main stage myself. I've only used Geek Performer. I'm using this live myself in my, in my upcoming uh, tour. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And version three is available now, of course. Absolutely, version now, version three is available now. Um, something cool here is, uh, you know, for the for the solo players that like to have lyrics and um, you know chords, they have Chord Pro support, um, Ableton Link integration, and also bi-directional MIDI controls. So you can see the, you know, if you have motorized faders on a on a mixer, yeah. it'll respond to that as well. So really cool stuff. MIDI recorder as well. So available now um, from any of your favorite dealers or from Ilio. Okay. Yep. So do you know what the uh, dollar price is on that? Um, I think MSRP for the Mac and Windows version. So one, one's for a Mac, 149 for Windows, 149 as well. If you want a Mac and a PC version, it'd be 199 MSRP. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. Thanks, Paul.